And now a page from our Sunday Morning Almanac. February 21st, 1858. 158 years ago today. The day Edwin Holmes of Boston installed the very first electric burglar alarm. Holmes had bought the patent the year before from inventor Augustus Pope, who had never done anything with it. Not so Edwin Holmes. He went into business, first in Boston and then New York, thought to be a more crime-ridden city. Holmes' ads stressed security and peace of mind. On the technical side, he pioneered the use of telephone lines to connect home and business alarms to ever-alert central offices. Holmes even set up his own uniformed security service. Security alarms of all sorts have become ubiquitous since the days of Edwin Holmes. Nobody will get hurt. And they earned a place in our popular culture. Ringing alarms punctuated the film Bonnie and Clyde, which starred Warren Beatty and Faye Dunaway as notorious Depression-era bank robbers. Just marking my place. While in the film How to Steal a Million, Peter O'Toole and Audrey Hepburn used a boomerang <laughs> to trigger a high-tech art museum alarm, tricking the exasperated guards into turning it off. Simply put, security alarms have sure come a long way since this early model. They are now a $22 billion business in this country, employing more than 171,000 people. This portion of Sunday Morning is sponsored by Pacific Life. For life insurance, annuities, and investments, choose Pacific Life, the power to help you succeed.